Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mr. Lawrence and in today's video I will show you 5 solo glitches in GT Online. If you do go on and enjoy today's video, drop a like and subscribe for more awesome videos. I will also leave the timestamps in the description. But before we begin, check out Messi Money. They provide multiple GTA services such as modded accounts, money and rank boost for all platforms. They deliver fast, they are reliable and it's 100% safe. The link will be in the description below and let's get straight into the video. I will start by showing how to get the new electric bike in different colors. First pull up your phone and go to the internet. Then to travel and transport, pedal and metal and select the inductor. Now click on this home icon. Then you will need to go to the legendary motorsport website. Select two door and go all the way to the bottom. Here you will find the Monroe. Click on this car and then select the color that you want on your bike. Now click on the history icon. So this clock and go back to the bike details line side. From here you can order the bike in any garage. I will now find a new session, that's faster than waiting till the bike arrives. When you are back, you have a colored inductor. The second glitch is how to wall ride with a bicycle. First go to the drain area. You can use any bicycle, I will use the new one. Then go to one of these walls. Cycle up to it and in midair you will need to turn your bike sideways. Now start pedaling again and if you did it correct you will drive sideways and it's pretty fun to do. I will give you guys some tips because this will take you a couple tries. First of all don't go too fast, so if you're using this bike don't use the boost. I also think it's easier turning your bike to the left than to the right, but that's up to you. You can do this at pretty much any wall, but this is the easiest location. Once you master it you can probably try it on other places on the map. This next glitch is a really easy and fun launch glitch. First go to this exact location on the map. When you are at this house, House, grab any weapon, a pistol works best. Then go into first person. From here you will need to hold X or A to sprint and then go over this like wall. You should then bounce up in the air. If you hit it right you will go pretty high, so I will try again. Here you can see that I went pretty high. The next glitch is a simple wall breach. First go to this location on the map with a bike. Then drive into the left garage door and if you did it correct you should slide right into it. You are pretty safe in here and you can also shoot outside if you aim under the garage door. This is a transfer glitch so you will lose all of your saved outfits except for one. So equip one outfit that you want to keep. Then delete all your saved outfits. Now up your pause menu, go to online and swap character. Your main character on the left has to be a female and your second character on the right side has to be a male, otherwise it won't work. Create a new second male character and copy the rank from your main character. Then just load into online and make your way over to any clothing store. If they don't appear, find a new session and they will appear. First take off any accessories that your character is wearing. Then go to the tops and if you have a jacket equipped, take it off. Now go to tank tops and purchase the white tank top. Then make your way over to the shoe section. Go to skate shoes and purchase the black skate shoes. Now head over to the pants. Go to shorts and scroll down to number 35. Purchase the black leopard boxer shorts. Then press square or X and save this outfit to your second outfit slot. These are for the black joggers, so name them black joggers. Now back out once, go down once and purchase the 10 stripe boxer shorts. Save these to your third slot. These are for the white joggers. Keep doing this for all the colored joggers. So back out once, go down once, purchase the shorts and save it to your next empty slot. Also name them like I do so you know which shorts are for which joggers. I will now speed up this part.
so you should have this outfit in 10 different outfit slots with different shorts. Equip them all once and then take the easy way out through your interaction menu. This will force a quick save. When you respawn, open your pass menu, go to online and start creator. Once you are in creator, create a race and select land race. So now just fill in all the race details with a red sign behind it. Take a picture and now you will need to set the maximum players on 2 and route type to point to point. You can also pick a faster car but you don't have to. Then open your pass menu and set a waypoint on the airport, this way you will teleport to the airport. Place down the trigger, take another picture and now you will need to start placing checkpoints till the race length is at least 1 mile. From here just test the race. Now accept this alert, open your pause menu, go to online and choose character. Now you will need to delete your second character, so your male character. From here, if you are on next gen, click the link in the pinned comment because there's a workaround to do the transfer glitch on next gen. If you are on old gen, just press circle or B to exit to story mode. Once you are in story mode, go straight back to online. Once you are in online, you will still have the outfit that you wanted to keep. Save that outfit in slot number 20. If you did everything correctly, the outfits from your mail will also be transferred over. Now you can equip any of these outfits to get the colored joggers. From here, you can also change and add anything on this outfit that you want. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.